the holder of entropy. In any city, in any country, go to any mental institution or halfway house you can get yourself to. When you reach the front desk, wait until the worker there asks you what you want. Tell the worker that you wish for a glass of water. If the worker says or does anything else besides give you a glass of water, then ask the worker, Can I change the system? If the worker gets a scared look in his face, then the holder did not deem you worthy of his object, and you will fall apart on the spot. If the worker answers, You might. Then ask him for a glass of water again. This time he will give it to you. If the worker answers, Yes. Or, No. Then you must leave that building and never come back. Don't worry, no harm will befall you. If you are not a wise seeker, you may ask for that glass of water, and he will give it to you, but you will not be able to complete the whole test. When the worker hands you a glass of water, take out exactly three ice cubes and no more or less. Hold the glass of water in your hand and close your eyes. The glass of water will get infinitely colder, but your hand will get infinitely hotter. No matter how intense the pain is, you must hold on to the glass of water. Your hand will start to dissolve, and eventually you will be holding on the glass with nothing. You still must not let go. If anything, tighten your grip on the glass of water as hard as you can. Your goal is to shatter the glass of water only by gripping it. If you are not able to shatter the glass of water in time, or at any point during this, your body will ignite into an inextinguishable fire, which will quickly turn you into ash. You will live as every individual molecule of that ash forever. If you manage to break the glass, it will spill over your hand, returning it to normal. Once your hand is fully restored, you may open your eyes. If the room has turned into a padded cell, then you were answered. Yes, or no, by the worker, and still chose to take the test. And now you will be stuck in this room for what seems like an eternity. You will feel the release of death when the room flickers and turns into a different color. For that is when you will painfully be mutilated by your own body until you are nothing but a pile of bones and flesh. If the room has turned into the outside of a cavern, on a rocky mountain top, however, you are safe for now. At this point, you have a choice. If you go into the cavern, you will be led along a dark path until you reach a door. If you step into that door, you will be led outside the mental institution. Nothing will have changed, and you are free to go back any time you wish to try again. If you want the object, though, look around until you see a ledge. Walk across this ledge. Eventually, you will see another mountain top, but the ledge will end there. The only thing that can get you across to the other mountain top is a pile of glass boxes. You will have to walk across this pile of glass boxes. It is very likely that the glass boxes will topple or shatter when you walk across them. But you must not let this happen, for if you do, you will shatter along with them. Each box must be stepped on with the right pressure, because the boxes are all different. If you step on a box too hard, it will shatter. If you step on a box too lightly, you will slip and the box will topple. To make matters worse, as soon as you step on the first glass box, you will begin to disintegrate and lose your sanity. This will make it harder to control your stepping. You will have about 20 minutes before you are no longer able to control your stepping and will inevitably fall. You must do this quickly. If you are destined to hold this object, 
You will get across the chasm in time. Once you step your foot on the final glass box, you must immediately jump to the mountain top, for all of the glass boxes will shatter, taking you with them if you're not quick enough. On the mountain top, there is a hole in the ground. Jump down the hole. You will fall for an incredible period of time. Eventually, you will begin to sway and hit your head on a rock and pass out. When you wake up, you will be in a room filled completely with glass. The entrance to the room that you should have come from will not exist. You must stand up and scream in the highest pitch you can. If you have Object 290, you may use that. The ceiling of the room will shatter, and all the pieces will head towards your skin. You must not stop screaming. Eventually, the rest of the wall will shatter, also aiming towards your skin. You will now be standing in a void only supported by a glass platform. The shards of glass in your skin will turn red hot and begin to burn you. You must keep screaming. Eventually, a voice will scream. Stop! Listen carefully to where the voice originated from. Rip out a glass shard from yourself and throw it in the opposite direction. If you were correct, the glass pieces should rip themselves out of your skin and fly towards where you threw the shard. You will hear a loud growl and then a soft whimper. A man will appear out of the shadows and walk over to you. He will touch one of your wounds. And when he does this, you must immediately ask, Why do we prefer disorder? He will answer, Because order will end us. You will involuntarily blink and appear outside the mental institution. Your body will be covered in the wounds from the pieces of glass. Those wounds are object number 1673 of 2538. You will gain the power to shatter things with your thought. But these powers are exponentially weakened if objects that easily shatter, such as glass, exist. You may shatter a man with your bare thoughts, but only if there are less than 538 square inches of glass in the world.